Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So here we'll see how to transfer the default administrator role. Okay, that I'll explain what exactly it is. How to remove the users from the 3D experience platform. And then after that, we'll go through how to change the user rights. Okay, these are the three things which we're gonna see in this particular session. Let's get started with this. Okay, first thing is the default administrator role. So here, the person called Sridhar, uh, I'll just open the platform manager. You can just access the role from my roles. Or else you can use the search and from there you can access this platform manager. From there, we have the member control center. Okay. So here, uh, I have assigned multiple administrator. Okay, one is Sridhar, one is Vinu, right? So here the Sridhar is the default one. So he has accessed the mail from the Resource system for the first time. So he will be having the uh, default administrator role. So that if he wants to transfer to someone else, what exactly he needs to do. Let's say we need to delete this particular user. I want to remove this mechanical design engineer. So for that, what exactly you need to do? So from this uh, settings options, as you could see here, you have the user right drop down and member right is assigned and here we have the remove user if you just click on this the user will be removed permanently okay so if you want to add new user you can just click on the invite members from there you can simply add up the uh, mail id the particular uh, member will get the Login credentials, you just need to enter his username, email ID and the password and all, you can access it. Now, I'm the default administrator. Okay, let me just showcase. Once I switch here, I can't directly de-promote myself. So if you want to do it, we have the replace me option. So if you click on it, you can just uh, directly replace yourself with or the one so you could see the caution here, the person you invite replace as an administrator. Okay, he will take the ownership of the license and become the administrator. Then you no longer have the access to 3D experience platform once the person clicks the link exit. You need to remember that. So you'll be completely replaced. So to de-promote yourself, you need to just switch to uh, another administrator who is already there okay let's say here mr venu is the administrator right so here if you are the default user you can de-promote him okay so from the user right you can even remove the access or you can even remove the user or you can change the user right to uh and just member okay that you can do it if you are the default user even if you are the administrator, you can do it. But default administrator can't remove himself from the administrator role. So that is what you need to remember. Now how to remove or how to just uh, replace this particular user right. Instead of replacing me that I, I don't want to replace myself completely from the platform. So in that case, you can request to your colleague who is the administrator to just uh, change your user right to member. So Mr. Venu will log into his platform. From there, he will switch to the platform manager and the member control. And he will just switch to the settings. From there, he will change the user right to member from the administrator so this guy has been uh, promoted from his colleague he's not the default one now when it comes to Sridhar he was the default administrator now once he completes his 30 days then only he can able to change the right to member the way you can okay so like this if the default user has completed his 30 days then 
anyone can change like any administrator can change the uh, default administrator to any of the role like the member or external user right okay yep i hope you got the clear-cut idea about uh, how we need to just uh, remove the user or change the user rights or uh, replace the uh, default administrator yeah so in short if you want to change the default administrator user right to member they should complete a minimum 30 days span of time as a default administrator then any of the administrator after 30 days can have the access to uh, de-promote or change the user right to default administrator to user or external yep so that's all about this session thank you guys stay tuned bye everyone